Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, hope you are doing well. I am Shabam Adayu, again here with another informative and interesting video related to the electrical machines and the MATLAB simulation. Dear viewers, today we are going to perform the experiment regarding the speed control of the DC shunt wound motor using armature resistance control method on the MATLAB software. So before doing this experiment, let us discuss some few points regarding the speed control of the DC shunt wound motor using armature resistance control method. The speed of the DC motor can be defined as the speed is directly proportional to the back EMF and inversely proportional with the flux per pole. So the speed control of the DC shunt wound motor using armature resistance control method based on varying the voltage available across the armature, the back EMF and hence the speed of the motor is changed. This is done by inserting a variable resistance in series with the armature. Due to the voltage drop in the controller resistance, the back EMF is reduced and also the speed of the DC motor is reduced. So dear viewers, without wasting time, let us do the simulation of the speed control of the DC shunt wound motor using armature resistance control method on the MATLAB software. So dear viewers, our main objective of this experiment is to implement the circuit diagram of the speed control of the DC shunt wound motor using armature resistance control method on the MATLAB software. So as you can see this is a circuit diagram of the speed control of the DC shunt wound motor using armature resistance control method in which you can see this is the variable resistance which is inserted in series with the armature winding of the DC shunt wound motor and this is the DC shunt wound motor. So you can see this is the armature winding and this is the shunt field winding and both are parallelly connected to each other means in the DC shunt wound motor the armature winding is connected in parallel with the shunt field winding. So this armature control method is based on varying the voltage available across the armature the back EMF and hence the speed of the motor is changed. This is done by inserting a resistance which is called as a variable resistance in series with the armature winding. As you can see this is the variable resistance and which is inserted in series with the armature winding of the DC shunt wound motor. So due to the voltage drop in the controller resistance the back EMF is reduced or which is normally called as the voltage available across the armature terminal or normally called as the back EMF is reduced. So the speed of the motor is also reduced means according to the relationship of the speed and the back EMF in the DC motor is that both are directly proportional to each other. So if the back EMF is false then the speed will fall. So dear viewers we have to implement the circuit diagram of the speed control of the DC shunt wound motor using our mature control method on the MATLAB software go to the power library so we need dc voltage source we need series rlc branch we need ground and uh, we need uh, the dc machine okay and we need the voltage measurement block okay and then we need also the power gui go to the library browser we need constant block we need bus selector we need gain block and then we need the display block so we are doing the experiment of the speed control of dc shunt wound motor using armature resistance control method on the matlab software so according to the circuit diagram of the speed control of the DC shunt wound motor using armature resistance control method. So we need the armature resistance which is connected in series with the armature winding of the DC shunt wound motor. So go to the properties of the series RLC branch. Okay. Make it branch type as a resistive R. Apply. Okay. So here the main function of the DC shunt wound motor is to convert the DC electrical power into the mechanical power. 
So we are doing the experiment of the speed control of the DC shunt wound motor using armature resistance control method. So according to the armature control method circuit diagram, this resistance is connected in series with the armature winding of the DC shunt wound motor and also the field winding is connected in parallel with the armature winding. So connect the DC supply in series with this armature resistance and this resistance is connected in series with the armature winding of the DC shunt wound motor. So now connect the negative terminal of the uh, DC shunt wound motor with the negative terminal of the supply voltage. Okay. So now connect the ground with the negative terminal of the supply voltage. So now this is the DC shunt wound motor. So connect the field winding in parallel with the armature winding. So if you want to measure the voltage available across the armature terminal in the case of the speed control of the DC shunt wound motor using armature control method. So the connect this voltmeter in parallel with the armature winding. So this voltmeter will give us the value of the back EMF or the voltage available across the armature terminals in the case of the speed control of the DC shunt wound motor using armature resistance control method. So connect the voltmeter in parallel with the armature winding of the DC shunt wound motor. So this voltmeter will give us the value of the back EMF or the counter EMF or the voltage available across the armature, termi armature terminals or the armature windings in the case of the speed control of the DC shunt wound motor using armature resistance control method. And this display will give us the value of the back EMF or the voltage available across the armature terminals in the case of the DC shunt wound motor using armature resistance control method. Connect the measurement port of the DC machine with the bus selector. Go to the bus selector properties. Select a speed WM radian per second. Apply. OK. So from the output of this bus selector, we are getting the speed as a mechanical power output in terms of the radian per second. So if you want to convert the speed from the radian per second into the revolution per minute. So the function of this gain block is to convert the speed from the RPS radian per second into the revolution per minute, which is RPM. And this display will give us the value of the speed in terms of the RPM. So we are giving the 240 volts DC voltage to the armature winding of the DC shunt wound motor. Apply. OK. Go to the properties of the DC machine. So we have selected the mechanical input as a torque load. OK. Go to the parameters of the DC machine. Here the armature resistance in terms of ohm is 0 0.78 ohm and armature inductance is 0 0.016 Henry. Field resistance in terms of ohm is 100 ohm and field inductance in terms of Henry is 112.5 Henry. Field armature mutual inductance uh, in Henry is 5 Henry. This is total inertia 0 0.05 viscous friction 0 0.01 and initial speed rate 1 radian per second and initial field current 1. OK. So from the output of this bus selector, we are getting the speed as a mechanical power output in terms of the radian per second. So if we want to convert the speed from the radian per second into the revolution per minute. So the function of this gain block is to convert the speed from the radian per second into the revolution per minute. So already we know that one radian per second is equal to the 9.55 RPM. Apply. OK. So we are doing the experiment of the speed control of the DC shunt wound motor using armature control method. So only we have to measure the speed in terms of the RPM and the back EMF in terms of the volt by varying the armature resistance at the different values. First of all, set the value of the armature resistance at the 10 ohm. Then measure the value of the speed in terms of the RPM and the back EMF in terms of the volts. In the case of the speed control of the DC shunt wound motor using armature control method. So set the value of the armature resistance at the 10 ohm. Apply. OK. Run the simulation. So now at the 10 ohm armature resistance value, we are getting the speed in terms of the RPM is 334.8 RPM and the back EMF in terms of the volts is 46.85 volts in the case of the speed control of the DC shunt wound motor using armature control method. So record these values in the observation table. 
so this is the observation table of this experiment so at the 10 ohm armature resistance we are getting the speed in terms of the rpm is double three four point eight rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts is 46.85 volts in the case of the speed control of the dc shunt wound motor using armature resistance control method again set the value of the armature resistance as the 15 ohm so measure the value of the speed in terms of the rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts when the armature resistance is at 15 ohm so run the simulation so as you can see at the 15 ohm armature resistance the speed in terms of the rpm is 157 rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts we are obtaining from this voltmeter is 21.2 volts so record these values in the observation table so again in this observation table when the armature resistance is at 15 ohm so speed we are getting in terms of the rpm is 157 rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts is 21.2 volts and when the armature resistance was at 10 ohm so the speed was double 34.8 rpm and the back emf was 46.85 volts so as we are increasing the armature resistance from 10 ohm to the 15 ohm so the speed is decreasing from double three four point eight rpm to the 157 rpm and also the back emf is decreased from 46.85 volts to the 21.2 volts because already we know that the relationship between the speed and the back emf in the dc motor is that the speed and the back emf both are directly proportional to each other so while increasing the armature resistance in the case of the speed control of the dc shunt wound motor using armature resistance control method so the speed is false and also the back emf is false so now set the value of the armature resistance at the 20 ohm and again measure the value of the speed in terms of the rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts in the case of the speed control of the decision wound motor using armature control method run the simulation so now at the 20 ohm armature resistance the speed we are getting in terms of the rpm is 87.2 rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts we are getting from this voltmeter which is connected in parallel across the armature terminal is 12.92 volts so record these values in the observation table so again in this observation table when the armature resistance is at 20 ohm so the speed we are getting 87.2 rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts we are getting which is 12.92 volts so again set the value of the armature resistance at the 25 ohm and again measure the value of the speed in terms of the rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts when the armature resistance is 25 ohm in the case of the speed control of the dc shunt wound motor using armature control method run the simulation so now at the 25 ohm armature resistance the speed we are getting in terms of the rpm is 53.45 rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts we are getting from this voltmeter is that 9.178 volts so record these values in the observation table so again in this observation table when the armature resistance is at 25 ohm so the speed we are getting in terms of the rpm is 53.45 rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts is 9.178 volts again set the value of the armature resistance at the 30 ohm again measure the value of the speed in terms of the rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts when the armature resistance is at 30 ohm so now run the simulation so now at the 30 ohm armature resistance we are getting the speed in terms of the rpm is 34.68 rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts is 7.11 volts so record these values in the observation table so in the observation table when the armature resistance is at 30 ohm so speed we are getting in terms of the rpm is 34.68 rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts is 7.11 volts so from the experiment of the speed control of the dc shunt wound motor using armature control method it is concluded that if we are increasing the armature resistance value from the 10 ohm up to the 30 ohm so the speed is decreasing from double three four point eight rpm to the 34.68 rpm and the back emf is also decreasing from 46.85 volts to the 7.11 volts 
because already we know that the relationship between the speed in terms of the rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts in the dc motors is that both are directly proportional to each other so in this experiment if we are increasing the armature resistance value so the speed is false and the back emf is also false because both are directly proportional to each other so dear viewers this was the experiment regarding the speed control of the dc shunt wound motor using armature resistance control method that we have done on the matlab software so dear viewers this was the experiment regarding the speed control of the dc shunt wound motor using armature resistance control method that we have done on the matlab software in which we have observed the results of the speed in terms of the rpm at the different values of the armature resistance in terms of the ohm in the case of the speed control of the dc shunt wound motor using armature resistance control method i hope that you have enjoyed the today's experiment so at the last do subscribe my youtube channel shoebe madayo for more informative videos related to the electrical engineering electrical machines power electronics and the matlab simulations thank you